Listen to that. It sounds like Sierra. Is that Sia? What's her name? Sia? Sierra? Sia? I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me, the beginning of that song. Uh, but what it is, is room filling sound. This is Bose. This is what's used by um, the Sistine Chapel and high-end cars and NASA and the, the football people. Um, and in your own home to give you that music, that sound that is unlike any other, only what you can find at Bose. Today is our Today's Special Value. We are very lucky to have this because our relationship with Bose allows us to still continue to carry this at a fraction of the price from time to time. You can only find it here, HSN, and Bose. And we have it at $169 less than what you would find it for at Bose website for a very limited time. We call that our Today's Special Value. Here's that price I was talking about. It's worth every penny, if not more, of the $4.99 that you would pay. You would also pay shipping and handling. That is free today. By the way, everything right now until the end of the show for one hour and 30 minutes is free shipping and handling. So if it's in your cart, please make sure you check out before the end of the show. And you do it on easy pay. So it's not $3.29 today. It's $65.99 on your major credit card right now to make this a reality for you. Or you can even do special financing on your Q card. So get yourself a Q card and you can do nine months special financing. Most importantly, we want to hear from you. Our Share Your Storyline is open. Tell us about your bows. Tell us the moments that this has had been the soundtrack to um, because so many of you love this machine. This one is the Platinum. And then that one is your espresso black, platinum silver and espresso black. The man behind the music is oh. this guy right here, Brett Hamilton. He's one of our chief are electronics you? correspondents and our Bose guy. <clears throat> Am I are what? You already drinking, are you already drinking wine? I was just saying, every time <laughs> I look over and I see that, I'm like, wow, that looks really good. I mean, we know, because we're on a set, that it's not. But it's like, I'm like, wow, yeah, that Could looks be. good. Mm -hmm, just saying. Could be. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, listen, we've talked about it a million times with the million Bose wave units and all that stuff. Music sounds uh, different to everybody. Everybody listens to different music, different genres, different, you know, rhythm, whatever it might be. But if you want to hear the music the way that it is supposed to sound, and what do I mean by that? Because we kind of glance over it. By supposed to sound, I mean when they take all that time and all that money in a studio to perfect the mix after everything is recorded and the producer and the engineer sit there and they just turn all those knobs and they get it perfect. And then you listen to it, there's something that sounds like this. You're not experiencing the music. You can experience the music like it was recorded if you get the boat. And this is a great song to show that off. Guitar, keyboards, and then of course a whole bunch of percussion. And a crank and thumping bass line. Shut up for a second, let you hear this from Brothers Johnson. This is Strawberry Lemon 23. It's a classic. Strawberry Lemon? Better. A blessing. It's just. Even if you don't know that song, good. Yeah, no, tell me what was the name of it again? Strawberry Letter 23. Strawberry Letter 23. Letter. Okay, letter. Yeah, I, I have food on the, the brain. Su supposedly the story behind the song, Brothers Johnson didn't write the song. They actually covered it from a, from a guy that wrote it like six or seven years earlier. You hear the chorus, they say Letter 22. It's love letters back and forth, tw uh, totaling 22 letters. The song is the 23rd love letter in that chain back and forth between this guy and this girl. And that's what the uh, that's what the whole song is about. So people are like, why is the title one number and the chorus has another? Well, now you know. And, and that's what music is all about, right? It gets stories and memories and the soundtrack to that time of your life when you were in the first apartment, you were newly married, um, or maybe you were out on your own for the first time, or it is that memory of um, the first dance when you got married. It was, it's that memory of that time when you had that job was so great, and this was the song that always got you pumped up. What is it for you? This plays it better. It could even be the soundtrack to your television. 
You can get this yeah. onto your television so it makes your TV sound better. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Our Share Your Storyline is open um, because 1.1 million of these have been picked up here at QVC, and this price is better at $169 less. Let's do a little overview of the features that you're getting uh, sure. with this on free shipping and handling today. Yep, simplicity. I mean, that's that's what I'm going to add when I talk about the features. Yes, it's a CD player. Yes, it's an AM FM radio, but you turn it on by tapping the top and then the waveguide technology comes to life and somehow harnesses the sound of the music that you're listening to and makes it sound better than ever before. That's how you turn it on. That's how you turn it off. That's how you can snooze the dual alarms that are inside there. So you can wake up to two different times of the day and different types of music. The remote control houses all the buttons. So this becomes a piece of uh, almost like a little sculpture, a work of art, instead of looking at a bunch of buttons like you typically would on an electronic item. Auxiliary in the back means you can plug in devices. Uh, and then of course you have AM and FM and you have six presets for AM and FM. But in the end, it's really, uh, the, the, I've said it earlier, the hardest part about setting the thing up is, is setting the clock, just like a VCR. Seriously. But in the end, <laughs> Setting it's really clock. it's really just about what are you going to listen to today one plug and um that's it yeah and, and it's so, so easy. cool well it's so cool now that you can listen to anything you want years ago you had to go buy the record you had to buy the cd you had to buy the tape you had to buy whatever now i mean listen not every song is free that's out there but what's amazing kirsten is that pretty much any song that was ever recorded you can find whether it's through a pay service or whether it's from something like youtube i stress this all the time take a tablet and either with the Bluetooth adapter that we have or just with a three and a half millimeter cable, plug a tablet into your wave, bring up YouTube and type in any pretty song. much any band or any song. You know what's really cool? Type in a band and then put live and pull up a concert <laughs> from, from your favorite band. And you know what? There is a chance that a show you actually went to however many decades ago is on YouTube someplace. And you want to talk about a crazy flashback to be able to be like, Whoa. Is, does do you remember it the same way? Does it does it sound the same? Does it look the same? First concert I ever saw, 1977, pretty little. My parents are going through a divorce, and I guilted my dad into taking me to see Kiss at the Capitol Center so in Largo, Maryland. So inappropriate for a child. Well, no, it was awesome. But here, my point <laughs> in this story is, <laughs> I look back at that show because 1977, Largo, Maryland, Capitol Center is on YouTube from Kiss, and I look back at it and I'm like. Man, it seemed like it was bigger and more explosions and more lights and more this and more that. It wasn't. It's just that image that you have in your mind. It's like a time machine. And then I could hear it because that night it was just so loud and distorted and all that stuff. And actually listening back to the recording, I'm like, ooh, they're really not a very, very tight band live. It's more about the theatrics and all that stuff. So I know I'm kind of going off course here, but... Music, uh, everybody's into something different, right? And, everybody's and it doesn't got, matter. Everybody's got yeah. memories, and it really does invoke those. Uh, my, oh, yes. When my mother died at the end, uh, beginning of last year, we're almost at a year right now, and in the last mm -hmm. couple of years of her life, she lost her speech. And well, her memory, she died from Alzheimer's. But the one way we still connected, and it was especially my husband, because he's really into music, is they would sit there and they would watch YouTube, you know, listen to music, play our wave music, listen to music, and she came alive. Like, that's what was yeah. still in there. That's what she could still access, and you could see her, and she'd try to talk about it. So the, it's amazing how ingrained music is into our, into our lives and our memories. And this is truly in my book, because we're such Bo's family, this is the only way to listen to it. You hear the things that you heard when you were at the KISS concert when you were, you know, an abnormally young child. You yeah. hear all of that the way the musicians want you to hear it. And maybe for you it's spoken word. Maybe you um, are listening to audio books. Did you get that? I didn't say books on tape that time. That was great. Well, audio I like books. books on tape better. I like books on tape. <laughs> you used to always say books on tape. And then you make They're always going to be books on tape. Audio yep. tape. Podcast. I'm like a podcast junkie. I, I you know, I did school yep. online. You're listening to lectures online. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's so much more intense when you do it with the bows. Let me tell you what colors we have in this platinum silver. Our last 4,500 for the day. And then that's it. Last 4,500. Don't miss out on this, especially with the free shipping and handling. Sold about 6,000 of these today. Last 4,500 left there to go around. And then this one is the Espresso Black. A few more than that uh, left in that one. Um, here is what you aren't paying. There's three places you can find this. QVC, our sister, HSN, and then Bose. At Bose, it's 499 
If you go to HSN right now, it's probably four ninety nine too. Here at QVC, it is three twenty nine, one hundred and sixty nine dollars less. Let's talk to Christy. She's calling from Tennessee. Ooh, there's music in Tennessee. That's for sure. Hi, Christy. How Ooh, are you? Sure. Hi there. Hi, Brad. Hi, Chris. Hello, I, I was. <clears throat> I always check and see what y'all's special value is. I saw this and I thought I have got to phone in because I saw this years. I've seen your commercials or presentations. And I was always very skeptical. And it's like, yeah, that how, how could it make a difference? But I think right. it was last May. It was sometime last spring. You had mm -hmm. a daily special on this. And I went ahead and got yeah. it because I knew I could return it. And, oh, Three my years. God. Yeah. Now, I'm a baby boomer. Brett, my first concert okay. was the Beach Boys oh! at Jack wow. Russell Stadium in Clearwater, Florida. I love so, that. What? <laughs> no, no, but, no ball, uh, ballpark, ballpark what just year? Just the other day. I recently retired, so I've been playing more of my music. And I put in a CD that had Mason Williams' Classical Gas. Okay. And it absolutely, I mean, it, it's everything you say, but you hear things you never heard before. And that's always yeah. been one of my favorites. So I played it three times. I <laughs> mean, I would say to anybody that's like I was, you know, oh, come on, how can it make a difference? It does. It really, yeah. really does. Yeah, and, and the crazy part about hearing that music differently and hearing it almost for the first time, uh, and, it, and maybe people agree with this, is that it's great to hear all that, but it's even better that you didn't have to do anything to cause it, meaning you just put whatever CD or whatever radio station or whatever you've plugged into the back of it, and that waveguide technology, which I'm still trying to wrap my head around after all these years, <laughs> takes over. You know, it does all the work well, that we did when we were younger, when we had the equalizer and the treble and the bass and the mid range. And frankly, nobody really knew what they were doing with those huge no, equalizers. They're like, no. I'll turn this one up, I'll turn this one down, da 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 da. And I had maybe some you got huge right, speakers one time and, and something that I didn't even know what to do with it. I ended up giving yeah. it away. But yeah. I have that little hockey puck thing. And oh, yeah, I are. like to huh? listen to Sirius XM. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in the 60s and the 70s. So yeah. I've got it talking to my Alexa, and Perfect. it is so nice. I'll just say blank because I don't want her to come on. I'll say yeah. her name <laughs> and, you know, play the 60s, and it even that, because I always listen to that, it sounds so much better. Hey, by the way, we have yeah. 200 left in this. If, if anybody wants to pick that up, we have 200, and it's like 25 bucks, so it's a great time to pick it up. Christy, where do you keep yours? What room? Because I've talked, you know, so many different places to put it. I've got it in the living room. I live in a condo. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. in the living room, and being respectful of my neighbors right? on either side. Yeah. But there's been <laughs> a few times I know do. the guy on the left is not <laughs> home, and I've called my neighbors on the right and said, can I crank it up? And yeah, yeah, yeah. even they, they heard it a little bit, but not that much. But it right. really does. I mean, I could play it loud enough to hear it you know, throughout the condo. That's great. Yeah, and that's the other nice part about it. Whether it's cranking or whether it's quiet, meaning you've got the volume turned way down, you still hear all the little nuances. You still hear the yes. mix properly, which is amazing, right? I mean, I, I don't know how they do that because typically some speakers sound really good, but only when they're loud or others sound really good, but only when they're down here. But you don't hear the mix. You don't hear all the instruments. You don't hear everything that's buried inside there. And somehow no, the way technology can like separate No, and like I said, with classical yeah. guests, I could hear his fingers on the bricks. I mean, it it was like, wow, you know, that, Wild, that right? just was never that, yeah. that just was never there before. I think yeah. I'm going to seek out Wipeout and see how that sounds. I, I can there imagine. You, well, <laughs> any, try them all. Run up and down the whole spectrum there of, of all the different types of music. And see what you, well, see I will what confess, I gave into a Time Life commercial, so I've got a whole set oh, I've done that. of the AM songs oh, that wow. they've remastered. And talk about oh, blast from past memories. I haven't even gotten through all the CDs yet. Wow. Yep. Well, and you know, you and that's a great thing about this is that you have the CD player where you know a lot of cars don't have those anymore. It's hard to find no. that, and now you and you can still play all those old CDs. Christy, thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, it really, I think, resonates with a lot of people who maybe have watched this year after year and been questioning. Like me. <laughs> yeah. But then you finally did it, and it really did change the way you listen to music. I will say, I've got the espresso one. I see you don't have it today, but I got the espresso. espresso. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yep. it, you know, not that it's that big, but it blends in with everything. And you're right, yeah. Brett. It's not an ugly something with a bunch of dials and no. numbers and, yes. and all that. Very sleek. Yeah. And beautiful. It's meant yeah. to be displayed well, and not hidden.
So. Yeah, it's Good. great. And tell them well, again. I hope I've been Wait. 